Hello everyone. Today, this video is about making your Avoni data table even better with a bulk edit features we will integrate. So let's take this example of an opportunities data table. And let's say you have a list of opportunities. So users on my example are able to select multiple opportunities and click on this bulk edit custom action I put on the header. And by pressing this button, it's opening another screen flow with the selected records displaying those information inside the data table with the input data source. So users are able to on the fly mass edit information right from there regarding specific opportunities. So there will be two parts on this tutorial. The first one is really to build a first screen flow to display a list of records using the Avoni data table, like the example I have right there. I'm displaying a list of opportunities with specific fields. I also added a header action at the top that says bulk edit. And the second part is really to create another screen flow that will open as a model box to display related opportunities to edit based on the user selection. So I will show you how to get started starting this. So I will show you how to create this tutorial from scratch. So as I said, first step, we need to create one screen flow to display the information, related information on the data table. So this is my screen element. I will drag the Avoni data table right there. Let's enter API name open the component builder. And from there, I can fully customize the data table. So here, what I will do, I will go data source, query, query the opportunity object right there. And now I will go there, fields. And from there, I'm able to drag the fields I'd like to display. So name, let's say amount, close date. And then uh, what else can we add? the probability field. Uh, OK, right there. We can maybe change the order right there. OK, perfect. So this is a basic data table displaying a list of opportunities. I can enhance data column, data presentation on columns. So let's say name. I'd like to linkify this. Uh, amount, OK, probability. OK, that's pretty much fine. Now, let's expand the header section and let's add the bulk edit button. So here, bulk, edit on the action, save. So now I just added this bulk edit button on the data table, which is fine. But this button is not yet functional. We will make it functional once we finish creating the other screen flow, the one that will open as a model box to display the list of opportunities using the bulk edit. OK, let's save that. OK, save the flow. So now let's configure the other screen flow, the one we will display as a model box to let users bulk edit information based on the selection they made on this data table. OK, so we create a new flow from scratch, a screen flow. OK, the first step here, I need to create a variable. And this variable will hold the list of record IDs we want to edit. So selected IDs. Data type, it's text, allow multiple value collection. That's really important and available for input. That's important as well. Perfect. Next, we need to add an action. We need to add an Avony Apex action right there. You're selecting the Avony category, and we select the join text collection. And this action is important because it will help us format the list of record IDs correctly. So we will be able to use that list on our query filter for the data table we will display just below that. Because you know the selected IDs collection variable will give us the selected ID uh, separated with a specific format, and we need to change that format. So to use a delimiter on the action to make sure that we will use uh, those collection variables correctly on the data table. So let's say uh, create the text collection. OK, source collection. OK, 
and source collection, it will be the selected ID, so the variable we created just before, delimiter. Delimiter, it's really to add like a comma. So we're adding this syntax, the comma, and we are finishing with this syntax. That's the delimiter. So basically, it will return the record ID, uh, selected record ID using this delimiter. Now, on show advanced option, we need to check manually assigned variable. Why? Because we need to create manually a variable, and this variable will hold properly the formatted list of IDs we will be able to pass on the query on the data table. So output, new resource, let's select variable, and here, let's say, um, uh, selected record IDs. Data type, it's text. I don't have to do anything else. Perfect. Okay, now we need to create a query filter for the data table where we will display the bulk edit information by filtering dynamically the query regarding the information we want to display. And this formula variable will act like a filter. It will tell Salesforce, okay, only show me the records whose IDs are in this list. So here, resource, formula, uh, let's name it query filter type its text, and let's type the formula. I will put the formula syntax on uh, the video de description just below. So, okay, here it's ID. So basically this formula is like the where in my SQL query. So where ID in, and then we will have this, this syntax, so bracket. Uh, okay, I will copy paste this because I know it can be uh, confusing. Uh, okay, and here we need to put this uh, resource, the one with the uh, selected record ID variable we created on the action. Let's do a syntax, that's perfect. Next, let's add the screen element to display only the information we want to bulk edit. Data table. Okay, open the component builder. Let's configure it, query, display the opportunity. Okay, but here I don't want to display the list of all the opportunities. I need to filter the opportunity list. So here I will map that to the formula resource we just created right there. So this filter will uh, really tell Salesforce, only, okay, show me the list of opportunities filtered by the IDs of the selected record ID I have on this formula. Uh, and now let's go on fields and let's it, add the fields on the data table. So amount, name, amount, uh, close date, and then uh, probability. Okay, probability right there. So now I can adjust all column settings. Let's make the, those column editable and display as input. Perfect. Uh, now let's save and create the interaction to make sure the information are saved correctly. So let's create the save interaction to make sure the information is saved correctly, update records on save. And let's add another one, flow navigation, and this one is finished. Why? Because we want this model box to be closed once saved. So by doing this flow navigation interaction on finish, it will close the model box and then uh, go back to the first flow. Okay, save, and let's uh, activate the flow. Okay, now let's get back to the first flow we created because we need to connect this flow with the first one. So this flow will be displayed, the, this one with bulk edit as a model box. So here on the first one, we open the data table, and then we go on into action, and we create an interaction on the other action because we want this interaction to be triggered by uh, when users are pressing the bulk edit. So here it's bulk edit for the target, open flow dialog, API name it's bulk edit. That's the name of the flow I want to open as a model box. Input variable, that's extremely important. We need to type the name of the input variable we created on the other flow. So let's get back to the bulk edit flow. And here I'm talking about this collection variable. 
So just copy paste this name and get back here and paste the name right there. And the value for this input variable will be the selected record ID. So here we are passing the selected record ID from the data table directly to the other flow. Very important to check this allow multiple values collection. Otherwise, users won't be able to mass edit, bulk edit multiple information at the same time. Uh, size of the model box, large. Uh, model, um, model header, let's say, open opportunities. Unfinish, we want to refresh the query. So we want to refresh the query of this data table to make sure the, the information are uh, instantly reloaded and integrated on the data table. Save. Let's do now save a new version. And let's do a run. So that's really the moment of truth to test the, or we can do a debug as well, uh, to test the flow. OK, the flow is loading perfectly fine. Let's select multiple items. Let's say four items, bulk edit. Yes, they are displaying correctly. Uh, we can change the probability or the close date. Let's say, uh, uh, let's make it uh, October, saved information. And it's automatically saved information correctly. Uh, as you saw, maybe on this data table, the bulk edit one, we can adjust the settings. Maybe we can hide the checkbox. So if we get back to this flow, bulk edit, open the data table, we can uh, here open the component builder, we can hide checkbox column. OK, that would be great. So that's pretty much done for what I'd like to show you today regarding this video. And I think it's really an interesting video to uh, build like this bulk edit in the data table uh, using screen flows. Let me know if you have any comments uh, just below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.